My name is Josh Elliott, and my goal is to make the U.S. Paralympic team. On April 18th, 2011, while serving in Afghanistan, I stepped on a 20-pound homemade explosive IED that uh, should have mortally wounded me. But because of the team that was around me and because of several factors, I'm alive today and uh, doing amazing things. Last year, while I was still a patient at Balboa Medical Center, my recreational therapist asked me if I would like to go to the Ski Spectacular put on by Disabled Sports USA here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Since I was a snowboarder for 15 years, I knew that I wanted to get back on snow and that that was one of my goals. I remember specifically telling her that I would go and learn how to snowboard again, and she made me promise that I would try the monoski. My exact words were, I will try the monoski, but I won't like it because I'm a snowboarder. After four days of coming off the mountain in tears trying to snowboard, I tried the monoski and fell in love with it. And what really progressed me was that every time I was on snow, someone was there to help me along. There was a coach, there was a guide, there was a, a service, and most of that was provided by disabled sports. And I went from just barely learning how to monoski to being introduced to a Paralympic development program out of Aspen, Colorado that started teaching me how to race. And within months of monoskiing, I started learning how to race. I started learning how to edge. And in July 2012, I was invited to Mount Hood, Oregon to try out for a Paralympic development team. And I got accepted, and that's kind of how I am. At the end of November, I retired from the Marine Corps. I retired from the Marine Corps so that I could put all my effort and all my energies into the Paralympic development program that I'm in right now. My true goal is that in six years, I will be in the Paralympics. I have small goals from there. I mean, it's not going to be an overnight thing, obviously. I have the NORAM races that I have to build points on, hopefully get invited to the national team and start World Cup races. And then once I'm winning World Cups, I should be able to go to the Paralympics. But I know that it's a long journey, and I know that it's going to be a hard road. But all I can say is bring on tomorrow.